you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. We sit in the colossal stands at the Giuseppe Miazza, making for such an impressive view as ever it has. Italy braced for their anthem. now for the Spanish national anthem. sides cheap for everybody here yes Peter it's a shame it's only a, a friendly but then again that may help us see a more expressive attacking contest and I'd be prepared to settle for a, a clash of, of lesser intensity in favor of of lots of flair skill and plenty of tricks and a few goals I suspect I've probably overstretched my my level of greed here So it's away we go then. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Well, that's a, a toughie, but I'll go for big Giorgio Chiellini. He may not go about his business in the, in the most stylish fashion, but he's a, a dogged, committed competitor who won't back down without a fight. He's also a very big threat when it comes to set plays. <laughs> I wonder whether that has anything to do with you being a defender once upon a time, Jim. Benucci. Jorginho, Chiellini, aimed long and direct. Immobile is demanding it out wide. Danger averted for now. And the counter is on. Jorginho, Benucci. And it's Berardi. Immobile. Now it's Berardi. Immobile. And that's been lever clear. Florenzi. It's Immobile! Easy. Immobile really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. Oh, that is a terrific save! on here Jordi Alba Spain so far providing no real test at all for the goalkeeper keeper goes long
Decent looking ball. And he's made certain that won't get through. There really wasn't very much in that. Far away from being a telling final ball. Ah, quality deserted them when they really needed it. Jordi Alba goes up and over. It's a loose ball. Morata shoots! Goal, Spain! The breakthrough strike! Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with, and to find it, I think, it was a fine drive, and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance. Spain take the lead. Still a fragile lead though, they can't afford to sit on this. Locatelli. Italy have made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitch as big as possible to work both flanks into, into better supply routes. Berardi. Now it's Florenzi, dinks one in, Florenzi made a good run there. Koke, and it's Thiago. Here it comes. No joy. Well, plenty of moving targets to pick out in the box. Obviously increases your chances of the ball being met like that by someone. Immobile plays it out to the wing. We sit high. That's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Morata, Thiago, Jordi Alba goes looking. Great run this, he's covered quite a distance. And it's hoisted clear. Lorenzi gets good distance on it. Play for a throw. Thiago. Morata chooses to go back. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Thiago. Spain are looking odds on to go in at the break with their advantage intact. Panucci. Hardly anything between the sides, and the score is 1-0. Oh, well defended, that had to be done. Well played, he saw that coming. Locatelli. Chiellini plays it forward. And it's Immobile. Out to the left it goes. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. And it's half-time here. So there you have it, a close-fought half of football. But it still had its moments.
and ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to groom at the lead at half-time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Spain leading 1-0 at the break. Things going for the second half. A solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference. It's gone out for a throw in. Insignia. And it's got through. Lorenzo Insignia crosses into the box. Had too much on it. And it's Morata. Over to the left. Thiago. Gets it upfield. Berardi. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Berardi. Bellucci. That could spell trouble. Jorginho. Forward it goes. Played out to the right. Jordi Alba just wouldn't be beaten there. Jordi Alba demonstrating fabulous determination. He just will not be beaten. Chip through. Here it comes. That'll be a throw. Knocks it away. Thiago can hoist it clear. Italy are definitely going about this the right way. Hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Spot on, Peter. And the finish! Really well taken goal. Two up now, and they are cruising. Morata with the smoothest one-on-one -on -one finish. He is one very cool customer. Peter, I can tell you, that was nothing short of a cold-blooded execution. So the ball's gone out of play, and a change is upcoming. Spain get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, with this kind of authority, Peter, why not push on and, and totally kill this off? And he's going long. Now the cross. And he heaves it forward. Italy have it back and they can go again. Well, it's normally around now that the managers think about making changes. And it's Florenzi. And he's there to hoof it away. Florenzi. Looking for a decent ball in. Time to deliver. He's got the ball glued to his feet. Jorginho. 
Zalata. Okay, needs to get it forward quickly. He's got away. Morata! And that would have been some goal. I just hope he won't let the failure to score affect him. With the ability he has, he can reproduce. looking as though he's been given special treatment here treatment he could well do without well his stealth has been compromised because of his goal and his treatment from here looks as if it could get a little tighter Thiago Morata spreads it towards the left they low and direct get that clear Good look, and given a corner. They have themselves another corner. He just whacks it away. Okay. Could be thinking about a shot here. Or it's Morata! Oh, it looked like 3 0 for sure. Well, that ought to have wrapped it up, Peter. He may well regret that, you know. Now it's Insignia. He's got away. He's gone for a throw in. and very necessary it's got through to him now a chance to break he's off on a marauding run Koke looking for space out wide it's gone a long way up and away Marco Verratti goes looking now it's Immobile Jorginho. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Bonucci went in strong and he took the ball. Lorenzo Insigne. It's Verratti. Verratti making use of the space out wide. Insigne clips one through. Away from immediate danger. Laporte. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Spain did it. Terrific team effort to satisfy both the boss and the fans. Your reflections then, Jim. There's a solidity about them, almost as if they set up not to lose and see how things unfold. That eased the pressure on the strikers, who can afford to be patient, and it's all paid off. Well, that's it for tonight's match, so it just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin alongside me and to wish you all a very good evening.